everyone so today I'm here to give you an updated bookshelf tour I did this a while ago but my shelves have changed drastically since I filmed a bookshelf tour I've been reorganizing I've gotten so many new books I'm not gonna go through um, all of the books one by one but I'm gonna give you an overview of the sections and then maybe pull out a few highlights here or there so we can start at the top I have these lovely bookends that I got from Target they're like little bicycle bookends um, and up here is all of my Shakespeare collection. So I'm a big Shakespeare reader. I have studied Shakespeare for multiple classes and, and um, you know, high school, college, all of that. But I also just generally really like reading Shakespeare for myself. So I have a bunch of different ones here. Um, some of my favorites are Much Ado About Nothing. I love the Pelican Shakespeare editions. Um, so I have most of the Shakespeare I have in these editions. I like that one. I really love the Comedy of Errors. This is a really uh, interesting cover as well. So I just love having all of the Shakespeare up here for reference and in case I want to go back to them and reread them. This shelf right here uh, typically has this artwork on it. I pulled it down so I could show you the books, but this is a, a couple of the artworks from the um, Literary Witches Oracle and book that goes with it. Um, so I just have Shirley Jackson, uh, Mary Shelley, and Flannery O'Connor because they are writers that I really admire and look up to. So on this shelf, this is all of my kind of non-fiction books. Um, I do have a lot of non-fiction, but I put a lot of it away because I don't intend on reading it very, uh, you know, soon or anything, or it's stuff that I've read already and I don't feel the need to have on my bookshelf. So these are some spirituality kind of books. I have some astrology, some tarot stuff. I have my tarot and oracle decks up here as well. And then I have some memoirs here. I have uh, Birds Art Life, which I talk about all the time, so I'm sure you remember that. Um, I have How to Be a Good Creature by uh, Cy Montgomery, which I absolutely love this cover, and it's just a beautiful book in general. Um, moving along, this is just my tower of nonfiction, uh, generally. Um, it is, I have a bunch of different things here. So some of the highlights would be um, Bibliophile, which is just a compendium of a bunch of different literary things. See, here's Bookmobile. So it just has a bunch of different um, kind of literary or book-related things inside, and it's just really pretty and fun to flip through. Um, I have some Caitlin Doty. She's one of my favorite authors of nonfiction. And then moving over here, switch sides. Moving over here, I have this uh, box set that I just got for Christmas, and these are these beautiful um, illustrated uh, kind of compendiums of different subjects. So I have a food one, nature and farm. And those are really beautiful and I intend to use them later when I homeschool my kids. So I'm excited to have those. And then the last thing I have over here is all of my poetry. So I have a lot more poetry, but I have kept it separate um, in the basement right now because I don't really read it very much and I like having just my favorite ones up here. So uh, just a couple to pull out. I have some William Carlos Williams. I have some Margaret Atwood and Mary Oliver is one of my favorite poets. So that is the top shelf of my bookshelf. All right, so moving down here, um, I have two shelves of fiction, um, or it's mostly fiction, I will say, but this shelf here is completely just adult fiction, different genres. I just reorganized this, so I have here a bunch of white books and then some black books. And then these are kind of loosely rainbow. I've never done rainbow bookshelves before. I've always done it in alphabetical order. And since I have some, uh, you know, fewer books on this shelf now, I was hoping to see if um, rainbow would work. So I have a bunch of these. Um, one to pull out is I have Matilda by Mary Shelley, which I'm very excited to read. Haven't read this yet, but super excited about that. Um, I just recently picked up Convenience Store Woman by uh, Sayaka Murata, and this was a book that Ariel Bissett, um recommends all the time, so I definitely wanted to read that soon. And let's see what else I have. I have The Harpy, which I just recently read, gave four stars, found it really, really interesting, except for the last... It, everything was perfect with it, except for the last, like, couple of pages. So I do have that still. Um, yeah, and a lot of these are books that I haven't read yet, so I'm interested to see how they go and if they will move down to this shelf. This shelf is my uh, author spotlight slash favorite books shelf. So I do have some other stuff, uh, various other places that are some of my favorite books, but I'm trying to keep this to mostly just fiction. So 
Over here, I have my entire Shirley Jackson collection. This includes books by Shirley Jackson, books about Shirley Jackson, um, interpretations of her work, uh, a bunch of different things like that. So I just have all of that because she is my favorite author. And then I have the works of Carmen Maria Machado, who is one of my recent favorites. Um, just actually this summer, I read both of her books here um, and really, really enjoyed them. So I like having that together. And then I have some Otessa Moshfeg. I actually don't have My Year of Rest and Relaxation, which is the first book I read by her. And I haven't yet read her uh, collection of short stories. This is probably my next read. But I do really, really like her. And I really liked Eileen. Gave it five stars. So she's on my author spotlight. Then I have some Sylvia Plath. I have The Bell Jar. And then a kind of short novella that she wrote. And then I have Ian Reid, who wrote I'm Thinking of Ending Things. And I have not read Faux yet, but I'm sure I will love it. <laughs> and then over here, this is a very small section right now. I haven't really beefed it up yet. I'm still kind of moving things around, seeing how I like the system. But I have some of my favorite books over here. So uh, these are all actually recent favorites, except for Blankets by Craig Thompson. This is my favorite graphic novel. I have The Shame by McKenna Goodman. Uh, Hysteria by Jessica Gross, and Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Tosh Toshikazu Kawaguchi, I believe that's how you say it. But that is my fiction shelf and my highlight slash favorite bookshelf. So this shelf is the last shelf on the big bookshelf. I'm just going to hold the camera for right now because um, it is really low to the ground. But you can see here I have um, a couple of my favorite books, obviously The Fault in Our Stars, um, some childhood books like Surviving the Apple Whites and The Phantom Toll Booth, um, some Shel Silverstein poetry down there, and then you can see my Wings of Fire collection so far. I have the, uh, the third graphic novel there. My boyfriend has books one and two, and then I have... Um, the first arc of the Wings of Fire series, Darkstalker, and then two books in the second arc. And then over here is my Elizabeth Acevedo collection. I don't have her in my favorite uh, author spotlight just because she is a young adult author, so I'm trying to keep that separate. Um, and that's mainly just what I have on this shelf. So coming over here, this is the last little spot that I have uh, any books on. This is just a little cubby thing that I have in my room. So this is just a couple of section highlights. I have my essays and essay collections over here. Um, I really like having the Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie ones out. I really love those, as well as Maggie Nelson's Bluets. And then down here, I have some short story collections. Some of these I've read, some of them I have not read. So that is this little section right here. All right, everybody, that is my bookshelf tour. It's just kind of a short uh, look at my shelves all around my room. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.